This video poses the rather unique question that everybody should be asking themselves. Is freedom dead now? And we have to go back, I guess, to the last events that's taken place in South Carolina since, um, really since the riots stopped. The, uh, the black community has been really um, using every opportunity they have to to loot and to vandalize homes or stores and, and uh, any place where there was a shooting going on where a police officer was forced to shoot a black suspect. The blacks used that opportunity to begin really just, uh, it's a reminiscent of the civil rights era in the 60s when blacks took any opportunity they had to uh, to burn and to, to vandalize uh, restaurants, businesses, and, and major cities throughout the United States. And really the, the police were forced at that time to use whatever opportunity they had to use uh, riot control that they had at the time was basically water, fire hoses, uh, club sticks, things of this kind, but you didn't hear of them actually starting to just shoot people down in the streets. And though the blacks here in this time in the 2015 era didn't actually have people being shot down by the police, it's an ironic thing how fast it all ended. It was sort of like just an abrupt halt in the uh, in this this riot type of uh, fiasco. It, it, it happened in Atlanta too. They were out on streets uh, blocking major intersections and interstate highways. I-85 was actually closed down at one point. And all of that's now over with. Um, you don't hear of it happening anymore because now they have the next opportunity they possibly could want in a um, retaliatory action against not so much the police, but that you feel an overtone that this hatred and this retaliatory viewpoint is now targeted directly at whites. And it's, it's just beyond a coincidence that now you have the police so much not going after people as it is the government itself at the highest levels of the governor's office and other government, state, and federal agencies um, targeting things that deal with um, subject matters that have been accepted and tolerated for the past almost 100 years. And now within 24 to 48 hours, the government has put a lockdown, a stop to everything and anything that is really, it's been a subject matter that the blacks have been against and they've had a feeling of hatred for. And it's like somebody somewhere in government has flipped a switch on to give them the power to stop and to um, manipulate public rights uh, for, uh, it's primarily geared at whites, but the black community also have feelings that these things should not be taken down. And the NAACP is not listening to them. People on YouTube, and I've watched many videos by people who are black, have said that they did not feel the this, this subject matter should be pushed on the population of the country about this, the, 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 the Confederate battle flag, the civil rights subject itself should not be something that they can use against Southern subjects. Now, let me just stop there and bring up something that all of you know about. In the last 20 years, a lot of people are coming down here from the North. And I have heard this statement more than once. We're gonna re-educate the South. We're gonna re we're going to reshape the South to our liking. We're going to make it whatever way we want it to be. And the heck with your attitude, with your feelings, with uh, your heritage for whatever you believe in. And now we are seeing the results of that mentality because now the government itself is saying that 
your rights as an American citizen mean zero if it has to do with uh, offending a particular race, black, and that if you have a uh, a pride in your heart or a feeling of loyalty to something that they don't like, then you now relinquish and uh, annul your rights as an American citizen to show and to re to project those feelings on somebody else. And I do not ever see this happening for the Muslim community. I do not ever see this happening to the Latino uh, or to really any other culture in the United States because this is a deliberate act and a deliberate targeting of whites, especially the southeastern United States. And it will not stop with a flag because they will next go after public property, um, things that have existed for more than 60 or 70 years, and that's Confederate monuments, Confederate memorials. In Atlanta, I've heard more than once that the blacks do not want Stone Mountain to have that large uh, uh, air or uh, blasted um, sh uh, picturesque shot of the, of the generals who represented the Confederate uh, military during the Civil War. They don't want it up there. It took the government of Georgia uh, more than 70 or 80 years to finally finish that portrait. It began in the early, early 1920s. And for 50 years, it, it just sat there. They never finished it. And then they finally decided, well, let's do something. We shouldn't just leave the carving half done. So they invested quite a, a bit of money, I mean millions of dollars, to have someone to come in there as a granite sculptor and they burned out the granite into those pictures that now represent the Stone Mountain Confederate Memorial. And the blacks are saying we should we should dynamite it, we should put nitroglycerin up there and we should just blow it directly off of the mountain and just kind of leave it the way it is. I would even say if they're going to do it what they'll probably put up in place of it is either a portrait of Obama or Martin Luther King or the two of them together on that on that monument. In other words, we're going to obliterate history that represents the South that it ever even existed. And all because of their attitude that slavery is represented in everything about what happened during the Civil War. And they want history to be eradicated. They don't want it a part of, of history at all. They don't even want people to remember that ha that it had happened. And if you obliterate history, all you're doing is opening the opportunity for it to begin all over again. And maybe they want a racial war. Maybe blacks do want a racial war so that then this helps to usher in Obama not having to leave office as president next year. If he finds that there is mass rioting, mass shooting going on between both races all across the United States. And you've got certain parts already in the southeastern United States that are at, I mean, they're at a, 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 a standoff because of the feelings that people have over what they've been doing. I mean, it should, it should be an insult to any American citizen to hear that they are taking graves and they're desecrating them. They're they're digging up generals in the Confederate military who were in South Carolina cemeteries, and they're saying they have no place being there. And when you hear them say, well, where are these people going to be put? They don't care where they put them. This is like, this is like what happened during the, the Nazi concentration camps. Massive, massive millions of Jewish people were put in graves, mass graves. They were never identified. Those people to this day, 70 years later, are buried in one massive grave in some parts of Auschwitz and Buchenau, all of those different other places in Germany. Nobody knows where they are, who they are, anything. And that's what we're at the level of again. 70 years later, the blacks are saying, let's get rid of people who we don't like. We don't care what happens to their bodies. We're just going to dump them wherever we want to. It doesn't matter what the military thanks of these people, we don't care about them and we want to get rid of them. And, and that is an absolute disgrace because 
If they can do that to Confederate soldiers, they can do it to American soldiers, they can do it to anybody that the blacks feel offended by. And it just go, it's going to progress. It's going to keep going up, 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 up to everything. And it's, it's sickening, but it's more importantly, um, it's a travesty to humanity to say that one group or one race should have the uh, advantage over some other race by saying that because their ancestors were slaves that they have the rights to do the kinds of heinous atrocious things that they're doing to to those who have been dead for 150 years and saying we don't care what happens to them dig them up and throw them out and I can say that I am a descendant myself of a what was called an indentured servant this is an individual who was brought to the United States he was brought here as a slave himself he had done something in Ireland they permitted him to come to the United States to work off this servitude that he had to and to uh, actually perform because of whatever he did. Now I admit he was probably some sort of a of a criminal. He had probably uh, stolen something, and what they called it it was indentured servitude, and that is no different than people who were brought here as slaves and who are of the uh, the, the 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 black community, the black uh, race that came from Africa. Uh, does that mean that I have as much right to to do the kinds of things, the heinous things that are happening to Confederate soldiers, to Confederate memorials, to the the battle flag of the of the Confederate um, military during the Civil War? I don't think anybody would give me the time of day or even that option to do something like that, and I wouldn't do it anyway because I know it's wrong. And. Blacks are not the only race that's been slaves, folks. The Jewish community, the Jew, the Jew who lived in Israel, were slaves for thousands of years because God punished them on many occasions because they did not do what he had told them to do. And so as punishment, he put them into slavery. They were slaves in Egypt, which means the Jews were actually the slaves of the actual Egyptians themselves, and they were blacks. They are the ancestors of those who actually did end up, end up coming to the United States as slaves themselves. So uh, the picture is, because of your skin color being black, you have the advantage now in our society to say that things that they don't like, they have the right to, to vandalize, deface, destroy because they feel they're entitled to it. And in, interpretation of that is called retribution and I don't think that sh should be allowed I don't think it should be tolerated because that is not why the United States government was formed in this country it was formed to serve the people not to serve a certain people or to serve a certain culture because the United States Constitution says in the preamble that all men are free all men have rights and those who say well that's not true of us because we came here and we had no rights well, if you had revolted, and this is true because there were so many blacks in this country, if you had revolted, you probably could have made your own way. You could have gone back to Africa as, as, as freed slaves. You could have done anything you wanted to. And that is why since the Emancipation Proclamation was signed by Abraham Lincoln, the blacks never wanted anything else than they had because they came here and they had no perception of how to take care of themselves. So when they were freed, they lived the lives that they understood and they could do for themselves. And now, uh, 150 years later, they're saying, well, that time's over with, now it's time for us to take back what we've, what we've been, uh, t what, was, what was taken away from us. I say the only thing the United States probably should have done when they were freed as slaves was to say to the black community, if you want to go back to Africa, we will send you back if you want to go back. But they certainly didn't do that. None of them went back to Africa. As far as I know, they're all still here. At least their ancestors or their descendants are. And we have, we have destroyed the United States as a nation. We are no longer united. We are divided. And it will progressively keep getting worse and worse because nobody has tolerance for anything. All it is about 
me, myself, and I, or the mentality that the black is the only one that matters now. And that's a really sad scenario.